Hey y'all, it's Charity, and I'm going to show you how simple and easy the Epson Edge print allows you to do your all over shirts. So, let's open this baby up. Okay, newer version. I'll talk to you later. The first thing um, you do is add your job. So, whatever you want to print, this is the space where you add it. And I'm looking for something particular. Okay. Not sure what it is. So, here it is. Open it. This thing has has a couple um awesome features over here to the side. As soon as it's low, well, let's go. So the feature that we will be using that makes our life so super easy is the tiling. Let's see. Let it load. This is a pretty big file. So it's adding. Another feature is Nest, where you kind of get to put multiple projects on one page. Um, the difference in that for me is I need to start creating images the size that I want to print. I'm going to add my kids' um, Tumblr for it. I'm going to just add the projects that I have. Let's see. It's not going to work with something this big, but something fairly small or, you know, average size. So let's say we're going to use this. Open. Also, going to. Okay, I'm moving down very far, I guess. Okay, did I, did I add that? Oh, I've already added the notepad. Then I'm going to do like the price list. Okay. So these items can be listed. So I'm going to slide this above or slide this down. Oops. That. And you see, it, it kind of like puts it all together on one page. So if I maybe added another one of these, you know, you're able to position and put it where you see fit, even if it's there. But it does let you know, hey, there's overlap. So you get to position in the manner you want. And this works because this is a small file. So it'll print all on one, you know, as one job. So I can add something else right next to it, really. Let's see. I'm trying to think of something that's not so big. This is probably not that big. It's just a picture of me. Let's see. I wanted you to nest. Are you big, maybe? Put it in the midst of that. Boom. So it's right there, nesting. So put it here. So let you ex expand. So that's kind of something to be careful about. If that's not your intention. Um, then you're just able to print this whole job. Also, this um, printer will cut itself. Let's see. So auto cut her job. So I could I could do this job. That I plan on doing and then this job and then cut after all of that is done so some really cool features it'll save you time you don't have to babysit your printer which is like awesome for me but I'm gonna go to this huge file up here you see we have way more than necessary on the page right this um this is our roll that we have inserted basically which is a 24 sheet roll and that's where it is here that's how you can see. 
Um, and I, I'm assuming, you know, for even bigger printers, you would use the same thing because it's, I'm looking at 45 right here. So we're going to go to tiling. I'm going to put auto cut per job. Or, you know, what we could do per page, whatever. That may work better. So that, which there's not like a save button or anything. Like when you X out of it, after you have clicked enable setting, it is what it is. So you can do it by the number of tiles, which, how do I want to do this? Horizontal. I think I'll take two horizontal tiles. Mm -hmm. And it shows you what's going on in real time. So this is where your image will split. That's not what I wanted. So let's go this way. That works for me. Mm -mm -mm. Then we're going to just do not three. So instead of piecing together four and beyond, only having to piece together two sheets sounds like a win to me. Also, it has an overlapping feature. So you can make things simple and easy. I like to give myself a lot of leeway on the overlap. I'm just gonna one in. I, I like to keep it under an inch, so I'm gonna go 0.75. That should do, but honestly, on most things, I have, um, Done the sides. Let me see. So all that is unclicked. Now let's click it, and that's what I want. But I guess you could have overlap in multiple areas. You can print an overlapping line, which is not preferable for me because no one wants to see that. Um, let's see. That's how I want to do it. You can also do it by tile size and width. So it has some preset things here. And maybe go with this. I don't think that I'll be needing all of this at the bottom, honestly. So um, I can take my width out to 24. I think you can go to 36 with this printer. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But I kind of would have assumed if I couldn't, I wouldn't be able to, right? So boom, there's the overlap here. That's not how I want to print though. I want to um, go back to the number of tiles do it that way but the fact that you have options I think is pretty darn awesome remember I need to re-click this to get what I was looking for um yeah so do 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 you can come over here and work with the color settings personally I have not really um gotten into that but I guess this will be a good time to try Hold on, I've been trying to play me. Let me get back to my tiling because this is off the sheet, which is not the vibes. Mm -mm -mm. It would be the first time I want to do it that way. Let's see. Let size that by that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like that it makes me feel like I have more things and more room to, to scroll um, let's see. Let's go back to tiling. Mm 
Let's see if there's a way to rotate our whole our whole image. Here's all of our robe, yada yada yada. Okay, so I guess until I figure anything out further, I will just be doing this a different way. One, two. Oops. Understood. But either way, y'all, uh, this is simple. This is easy. Um, I'm gonna figure this out because I, I kind of feel like I should be able to flip it, but I don't have time to figure it out this morning. I'm actually getting ready to go to this um funeral. This is my great aunt, and um. Just ain't got time to be playing right now. Let's get this thing printed and gone. I think I was going to play around with the color settings to see if anything made a difference. Okay, so you see how that kind of just lined it up like that? That's cool. So, and I, and I, you know what, honestly, my pieces doing it the opposite way may have been too big or too, too wide. Not really sure. The profile that I did use was RGB. You should be able to check that in your Photoshop prior to, but let's see if anything, you know, changes. I'm actually just going to be looking at the hair area. Hopefully our preview gives us just that. Let's take both off. Let's see. Like visually, just with my little eye, I can't tell anything different. I'm going to have to do a little bit more research. Well, actually, just a little bit more. Um, let's see. Okay, so over here, it still says update and preview. I'm not mad at that, or am I? Like, up close. I just, I mean... Previous update that may have been why I couldn't tell anything with the black saturation really didn't change anything for me. Oh, absolute color metric is kind of lame, don't like it. I think I would prefer relative, which I would assume is based on what's on. on on here, this is what we're going to rock with. But I could be wrong. Hopefully, I don't print this and it looks an entire mess. But I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it at all. Let's see what happens. Okay, I'm going to say nothing with that. I'm really looking in the hair area just to kind of see. Yeah, I'm not really seeing lips. So at this point, I think I'm good to print. So I'm going to do just that and print. Okay. And I think I'm not sure if it's on my printer or here. Another thing is, y'all, since it knows that we're doing sublimation, it automatically mirrors everything so you don't have to worry about remembering that setting you can import your images straight you see and this takes about two minutes y'all to do all of this about two minutes literally i mean i'm i can't be more more pleased with my purchase honestly now the only thing probably would have been if i could have gone bigger 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 but at this point, this works. It takes up most of my desk. Like, we're good. We're good. 
I'm happy with it. This will be a shirt for me and my mom for the graveside service. Um, but yeah, so hopefully that helps you understand what's going on with Epson Edge Print. And I'm also not sure 100% if um, this comes with every printer like mine. So you kind of have to do your research on that if it's standard with the printer, which would make sense. But, you know, I don't want to say that you get the printer without the software and be kind of mad at me. No. So do your research. Check and see if this is an available option for you. And if it is, I say go for it. Until next time, y'all.